Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I used to really struggle with snacking. Like my toxic trait was I would get a 32 ounce Coke and a bag of Funyuns basically every time I drove anywhere. And I feel like when you're on the go and you just want a quick snack, the only place to really stop is the gas station. And I don't know about you, but gas stations don't typically scream healthy to me. But as I've been figuring out with my grocery hauls, which by the way, if you haven't seen my Aldi or Walmart haul, go check those out. You really can find healthier things in some unexpected places. So today we're gonna head into the gas station and find some freaking healthy snacks if it's the last thing we do. And I also wanna show you some snacks you might think are healthy that really just aren't that great for you. So if you're trying to eat healthier or you just wanna know what I would buy as a personal trainer and sports nutritionist, I made this video for you. And if you like videos like this and find them helpful, sweat the thumbs up. That just means give it a little click. It's the easiest thing you can do, but I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every week sharing my health and fitness journey to help you with yours. And since I confess my guilty snack, I wanna know, do you have one? And if you do, what is it? Drop a comment down below before we go in and hopefully it's not on my list of snacks to avoid. When it comes to snacks, there's always a few things I look for when I'm shopping. The first and most important to me is always protein. I wanna to try to aim for at least 10 grams of protein per serving to really help me feel satisfied. The second thing is the fat. This is really good to help stabilize your hormones and energy levels. Around 10 grams of fat is ideal. And then carbohydrates. So these really help you feel energized. About 15 grams per serving is great. And the last thing is the sugar. I don't want any added sugar in my snacks and I aim for snacks with less than six grams total. All right, I read a million labels, checked everything out in this bag that is falling apart. I have some items I would normally never buy and I did find some really good healthy snacks for us, you guys. Like, you're gonna love these ones. And I have a giveaway for you girls. I'll give you some more details in just a minute, but let's jump into the first thing I would never normally buy. I had to move my car, it was like 90 degrees in the sun. It's still hot in here, but I had to go through these with you right now because I know some of you might be like on your way somewhere and you might need a snack. So the first one is one that I just used to eat all the time. And I think a lot of us see it and we think it's healthy and good. And it's cause like so many things are marketed that way. They seem like they're healthy or they say high protein or something else. And you're like, cool, but it's not. You gotta pay attention to the label. The first one is infamous nature Valley bar. You guys, I used to love the peanut butter one so much. Like I would eat these like no big deal. And you think like oats and honey granola bar. It's a granola bar. Of course it's healthy. It's not. You know, I love to look at ingredients. So whole grain oats is the first one, that's great. But the second one is sugar. And then my favorite, if you watched any of my videos, you know this one gets me every time. Canola and or sunflower oil. Not really sure what we put in here, but like maybe one of those. It also has soy lechon, which makes me break out a lot. Um, so I just always try to avoid that. And then again, granola bar, you're like, okay, hey, healthy, healthy, no. It only has three grams of protein, that's like nothing. Seven grams of fat, which is like fine, except that there's nothing else being offered to me here. 29 grams of carbs and 11 grams of added sugar. So just like, pew, poured that in there. Um, this is a big no on my list. If you want that kind of like granola bar experience, you want the sweet and salty, kind of fruity, nutty thing, I would just buy some fruit and nuts. So this one has almonds, cashews, pecans, hazelnuts, pistachios, so there's no fruit, but get one with like cranberries or something. If you want one that has a little like dark chocolate, that's okay, just pay attention to the added sugars. But the biggest, most important thing with any type of trail mix or granola when I buy it is I look at the portion, like the serving size. So this is about a quarter cup. That's really think about like the palm of your hand, like a single smallish kind of size portion. This whole bag is five servings and you need to pay attention because the fat can be so high as you add it up. So 16 grams of fat in a quarter cup, a single serving, that is a total appropriate amount of fat to have to really help balance hormones and energy levels. You have five grams of protein, so like a little bit of something. It's not high, high protein, but it's good. But yeah, you just don't wanna overdo it. It's way too easy with these. As I was shopping around, I decided I wanna do a little something extra for you girls because gas prices and snack prices and grocery prices are just like literally getting out of control and crazy. I cannot believe how much money I spent on just these couple of snacks. So I'm gonna be giving away two $25 gas cards. All you need to do is join my newsletter. I'll put a link in the description and pin it in a comment. You just click, drop your email, that's it. And comment down below, let me know that you did. And I'll be choosing two of you to win a $25 gas card. You can spend it on gas or on your snacks or whatever you need. And I'll share the winners in next week's video. This is another one that will totally fool you into thinking that it's healthy and good for you. And yes, it may not be the worst thing out there, but I wouldn't buy it. And that is beef jerky. 
Um, beef jerky can be really great. It can be high in protein. I mean, it's always high in protein and that's a good thing, but most jerkies have a ton of added <gasps> sugar. So this has four servings per container and per serving it has 10 grams of added sugar. That's a lot of sugar, you guys. So 40 grams of sugar in this little pack. And it's easy to sit here and eat the whole thing, right? Even without eating the whole thing, you have 10 grams of sugar and only 11 grams of protein per serving. So those servings are almost equal. No, 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 we can't do it. The second ingredient is literally brown sugar. So ingredients go in order of like what's most prominent. So if it's number two after beef, you know there's a lot in there. I would never buy this. There are some you can find that have zero sugar. Buy those if you're gonna buy beef jerky, but really be careful because most of it's crap. Okay, I'm very excited about this next snack because I would never in a million years have dreamed I would get this at a gas station. It seems like something I'd find at Whole Foods maybe, but I asked them and they said it's at most of their Chevron locations, so I'm sure it's at other gas stations too. Anyway, let's get into it. It is like an adult premium Lunchable situation. There's Gouda cheese, there's some salami, sourdough little cracker rinds. Of course, like I'd love to see some fiber, maybe like a vegetable in here, but oh, it's a gas station. Like I know that's asking too much, it's fine. This is a really good balanced snack. You get a lot of everything, healthy fats, healthy proteins, some carbs in there. You're gonna have energy, be full, be balanced. Like this could be a lunch even almost, but really it's just like a good healthy snack and perfect if you need something to hold you over when you're on the road. So super impressed that they even had this and I would buy these just for normal life to have at home even. Really good. Okay, I had to go in and look at the Coke and Bunions. You guys, like what was I doing with my life? No wonder I was 45 pounds overweight. Like, ah, it's insane. Oh my gosh. First of all, the ingredients in this are nasty, but it has six servings. I used to eat the entire bag. <laughs> I'm scared to look at Coke. I used to buy it in the fountain, but this is 33 ounces of so basically the same thing. I drank the whole thing, you guys. This says it has three servings per, so there's that. 390 calories in the whole thing. There's 39 grams of sugar per serving. Oh my gosh, math. No, let's round up 40, 80, 120 grams of sugar in this whole thing. <laughs> this one freaking shocked me, you guys. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, it does not make sense to me. Someone please explain this. So, I just don't like Starbucks anyway, but I was giving it a chance. Starbucks Frappuccino. This is the coffee. This is not the mocha. This isn't the vanilla. This isn't any fancy flavor that you would assume has a bunch of sugar or other things in it. It's coffee with probably some cream. Obviously, we can tell by the color. So, like, in my mind, this wasn't going to be filled with sugar that bad. I was like, okay, let's check this one out as, like, an alternative. <laughs> I thought this was going to be my healthy alternative. It's not. Um, so, 300 calories per bottle, which is a meal. Like, that's a lot of calories from a liquid that you don't need. And again, if I'm like, hey, it's cream, fine, fine. No, 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 no. I can't even say it out loud. 47 grams of sugar. What? 34 grams of added sugar. So like maybe those, what is that? 13 grams are coming from milk or something, but 34 grams of added sugar. Why? Why? That's not coffee anymore. This isn't even coffee. I can't handle this. This is the absolute no. Never in a million years, cannot do it. So don't think by getting the plain coffee one, it's healthier because clearly it's a, it got me, you guys. This duped me. This is not healthier. It's the worst. How could the other ones be any worse? I don't get it. I searched high and low for a healthier alternative for a drink, like a coffee drink and an energy drink, something else. Like I just can't condone any of them. They are all so bad. They either have insane amounts of sugar or insane amounts of garbage crap ingredients that I just like can't get on board with. So I did find a kombucha. It's not my go-to GTs, which you know I love. The only brand they had was Kavita. This was like the healthiest drink I could possibly find, especially if you want something sparkly, bubbly. So the only downside to this is it does have some added sugar. It has eight grams of added sugar. This bottle is like one serving size. So in the whole thing, like it could be worse, you guys, if you need like something. And you're getting the probiotics and other health benefits. So if you're gonna have some added sugar in a beverage, going with something like a kombucha would be great. I was really hoping they'd have like a poppy or a olipop or one of those like healthy soda brands. But again, maybe it's asking too much for now at the gas station. But maybe, I don't know, do you guys have those types of things in your gas stations? Maybe just the one I went to, I don't know. But I would definitely go with something like this 
if you want a little bubbly something on the road. All right, girls, so those are three things I would never buy at the gas station and three that are actually really good for you. And I just feel like for me, that's even good to know because like I literally haven't even stopped in a gas station unless it was to pee or grab a water. I like assume there wasn't gonna be anything healthy there. And it took a little bit to look obviously at the labels and kind of dig around. It's not just like a neon sign saying healthy food right here, but it's worth it. And especially if you're on the go and you need to grab something fast, just know that there are good options available even at a gas station. And don't forget, I'm giving away two $25 gas cards to you girls. So all you have to do is join my newsletter. If you haven't already, I'll put the link down below. Comment, let me know that you did, and I'll pick two of you that I'll announce in next week's video. Also, this is the first time we've ever done a whole video in my car, which it's very hot, but I feel like it was kind of fun just like being out doing this with you. I don't know. Anyway, I love you all so much. If you like this video, sweat the thumbs up, just give it a little click, and don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you next week. Bye.